one week till playoffs start. Mm. This is the last week, and I'm kind of nervous. Yes, I know, I've clinched a playoff seed, but I'm either going to be a two or a four. Huge difference, you know? I could get a bye week, or I got to play against a team to get me to the money, which technically this year isn't the money because fourth seed does not pay anymore. Or fourth place, not fourth seed. Uh, so, here are... What, what I, you know, I haven't even really looked at the scores this week. What happened this week? Uh, let's look at the weekly results. But before that, while that's booting up, let's just look at... Did anyone top the King of the Mountain to beat Derek? Nope. Hawkeyes got close, but no such luck. So, Derek, you're still King of the Mountain. Pick'ems. Still, well, actually, you know, it's starting to clear out a little bit. We got Pink Taco at 44, 14 picks right. Same with Devils. Amazing week. You know, technically this week was kind of a, oh, these teams should win week. So it was kind of a no-brainer week. Next week, though, I've already looked at, made my picks for the most part. There's a lot of tough picks. There's at least four to six picks that could go either way. So the next week will be interesting. Uh, but stay thirsty. Mike O'Reilly at one point behind Chris. And then it kind of fizzles out a little. You got me, Donkey, and Minivan at 40. We're four points behind. Everyone else is, uh, looks like we're all, they're all pretty much out of it. So Chris and Mike, looks like this might be your race to the end with only four weeks left of the pickums. So, the weekly results. Yes, I freaking was an idiot. I was an idiot. I'll admit it. I put too much thought into stuff. I picked up Tyler Boyd and Rashard Matthews. Now, Rashard Matthews got me 15 points. So, yes, that's not a big deal. But my current lineup was Tyreek Hill, Devontae Adams, and Dante Moncrief. So... I would have beat Biscuit Butt if I would have just not picked up anyone. Because, you know, who would have thought Ty Ty Tyreek Hill would have just busted out for that? Uh, Tyler Boyd, supposed to be the new number one receiver now that A.J. Green is done. But, I guess not. And I lost. I lost to you, Biscuit Butt. I lost to you. Props to you, sucker. But one thing is Tyler Eifert. How did you not play Tyler Eifert? Because A.J. Green's out. Obviously, Dalton's going to throw to Tyler Eifert. So you really could have destroyed me then. And Minivan had an easy game against Big Red and won. What that means is that I have a one-game lead still over Minivan Madness. But that really doesn't matter. Because I win, I take the number one seed. If I lose, either way, if I would have won this week, no, if I would have won this week, I would have... No, if I would have won, it would still been the same same situation. Because our points are so close that if he would have beat me next week, we would have had tied records. and Because we play each other this week. So if he, would have, if he beats me this coming week, we would have had tied records. And he probably would have more points than me. So he'd take the seed. So either way, I need to win to get the number one seed. So, Matt, I hope you choke this week. Um, but, yeah, uh, Matt beats Big Red with a goose egg from Antonio Gates. Nice job. The Devils continues his plunder. Now, let me just say, Devils has had one of those years. One, I'm shocked you haven't made any moves through the middle of the season because he left all of the players on his roster that I can see who he had. I guess maybe he wanted to show his, everyone what he had to deal with. I don't know. But yes, you had Jamal Charles on your team. You have Adrian Peterson on your team. Vincent Jackson on your team. All Sean Jeffries on your team. Yes, I get it. You had four amazing studs that are all out for the year. But you could have made moves through the year because that's how fantasy football works. There's players in the, that have made teams better. You know, like I have picked up Tyrell Williams, who I think. I, I was going to play him, but I was like, oh, he's playing against a tough cornerback side. So he's going to leave him out. But he, he did really good. Tyrell Williams would have got me 21 points. Pretty sure you could have used that 21 points, Jim, if you would have bid for him. I don't know. Maybe you did bid for him. But you had four 
you know, four, you've had a decimated year. I get it because I have one, uh, one of my leagues just like that. And I've tried everything, picking up players, but it just didn't work either. Anyway, Pink Taco destroyed the Devils. Colin Kaepernick got 52 points, basically. Colin Kaepernick, 52 points. What? I'll just say, nice pickup, Chris. That That's pretty impressive. I, You played Colin Kaepernick over Matt Stafford, which, I mean... It'd be hard to do, but I mean, yes, Stafford's playing the Vikings, so I get that move. The one thing you didn't do, right, you played Wendell Smallwood, which I did too, because you picked him up. But Mark Ingram got 33, and I understand the reason. Mark Ingram's been dealing with a concussion. You don't know if he's going to play, so I get it. Um, you still killed him, so it doesn't matter, right? The donkey wins again? What? Wow, good job, Darren. Beats the Cardiac Kids. Teddy, I know, you've had one of those years, too. I think, did you have Keenan Allen on your team? I can't remember. Um, but, yeah, you've had one of those years, too, where you lost a lot of studs. And Matt Jones ended up being a... So that kind of screws you, too. Oh, man, Capitalist Pigs. Yeah, there's no hope for you. I mean... Your team really took a beating also. And you played Josh. Josh had 182 points. I mean, Josh's team is sick. LaShawn McCoy, David Johnson, Drew Brees right there. He even played Gronkowski when Gronkowski got hurt in the middle of the game, got a big goose egg. He still put up 182 points. Now, just think, if Gronkowski would have played and got points, he could have probably may have been king of the mountain. I'm not sure. Uh, he even had Devontae Freeman on his bench over Rob Kelly. I probably would have done the same. So, anyway. Uh, the Sasquatches lose by two points. I know you were... You know it's funny? Wait, who did you have? Oh, you had Emmanuel Sanders going against the Chiefs. And Brandon McManus. I guarantee you're just like, come on, Emmanuel, get another catch. Just one more catch for 10 yards and I'll win. <sighs> It's too bad. You lost. The Broncos lost. Life's rough this week. I understand. And you lost to Stay Thirsty, which is interesting because that really makes the playoff scenario really cool for this week. There's so many teams that could be in or out. You just don't know. So good win, Mike. Beating those Sasquatches. That makes a great week. The Chiefs somehow win when they really shouldn't have. I mean, they should have won in the first half. But then all of a sudden, the Broncos realized that one of our cornerbacks really sucks. And then we had a backup safety or cornerback, too. I don't know what he is. K Akers, Akers. Yeah, he sucked, too. And they didn't expose that until the second half. And somehow, I don't know how, we won. And, yes, I think Kubiak should have went for that field goal. Because, yeah, I agree with what a lot of people say. Herm Edwards, I was listening to that, and I was, it was perfect. Herm Edwards says, you play to win the game. He doesn't say you play to tie the game. Because if he would have punted, you would have tied. Plain and simple. A punt means you're going to tie. Because there's no way the Chiefs are going to drive down in one minute and kick a field goal and win it. Not a chance. So he went for it in mile high. you got to think a 62-yard field goal is like kicking a 52-yard field goal in other stadiums, right? So it's very possible. Odds, I would say his odds of making that field goal were about 40%. So odds are go for it. I agree with it. Now, and his defense should have been able to stop Stop him, but it looked like they did prevent. I don't know what they did, but yeah, they let him drive down. That's it. Um, oh, is that all the teams I need to talk about? Okay. All right. So um, let's see. Let's look at the records here. Mm -hmm. Hey, I was curious. Who has Kirk Cousins on our team? Kirk Cousins. Oh, that's Mike. So, Mike. You would have really clobbered him if you played Kirk Cousins with 51 points, but you got Derek Kirk, Kirk Carr with 32. Tough call to decide on who to play. Last week, what do we got? We got me versus Minivan Madness. The winner is the number one seed, the, or number two, sorry. Sorry, Josh. The winner is the number two seed. Loser is the number four seed. Uh, Biscuit Butt plays Big Red. If he wins... He'll have seven wins. Let's hold that thought. Pink Taco clinched his division. He's the number three seed no matter what happens. Uh, Donkey, out. Devils, out. Cardiac Kids, out. 
Next up, Hawkeyes, you're the number one seed. Obviously, 12 and 1. Amazing. And wait, let me look at this. Oh, let's see. Wow, Pink Taco has is a record of 7 and 6. Okay? A record of 7 and 6. He is the second highest point scorer of the year. He's number two point scorer of the year, but has six losses. That's some messed up stuff there. Um, let's see. So he's the number three seed. He'd be the number three seed of my projected idea of what I want to do next year, which I'll talk about later on. So Mile High. Ooh, wait a minute. Is Mile High the number? I guess, uh, I, guess I might not be the four seed, or Manny Van Madness might not be the four seed. Wow, this is, oh my gosh, this is so interesting. Okay, who plays who next week? That division is so whacked. Okay, so Capitalist Pigs plays Stay Thirsty. Okay, so Capitalist Pigs plays Stay Thirsty. The winner will have eight wins in the playoffs, okay? So Stay Thirsty could be from, he's in last place in his division. He could go from last place to being in the playoffs. Wow, and guess what? So actually, if me and Minivan, the winner will be the number two seed, but the loser might actually be a three, or might be a four, five, or six seed, right? No, actually the loser will be, yeah. It just depends, because if Capitalist Pigs wins, uh, it would probably be a four or five seed. Act, mile high. Ah, oh, man, this is messed up. Mile high actually should be the four seed probably. If he loses, if he wins, he'll be a number four seed for sure. But if he lose, if he wins, he'll be a four seed. If he loses, he'll be a four, five, or six seed. I'm trying to figure this out. There's is there still a chance that? Yep, there is still a chance that that entire division. Right, right, one, two, no. No, the entire division won't go to the playoffs. No. No, the entire division will not. One team will choke. So it'll either be Capitalist Pigs or Stay Thirsty. Archie, you're out. There's no way of you getting in. Sorry. Because every team in the playoffs is going to have eight wins, at least. And you don't have eight wins or can get eight wins. So Stay Thirsty wins. He's in. Capitalist Pigs wins. He's in. The other team is out. And will be probably the number one seed or two seed in the toilet bowl. Mile High is in. I'm in. Minivan's in. Pink Taco's in. Wow, this is going to be really interesting. So the one, two, one and three seeds are so, are set. The two seed is either going to be me or Minivan. And then the four, five, or six will be either will be Mile High, he's in. Me or Minivan. And then either Capitalist Pigs or Stay Thirsty. Interesting. And we don't know where because it just depends on where we all finish at the end. Wow, this is cool. I don't know what, what seed I want to be. I mean, I want to be the two seed, obviously. <laughs> but if I lose, I don't know if I want to be the four, five, or six because then i got to play Mile High. And I don't know if I want to play Mile High. He might... You know, he might mile high my butt over the fence. All right. Anyway, um, I think that's it. Let's see. Who do I? Well, let's look at who I think who's playing each other. Projected scores. Capitalist pigs versus stay thirsty. We got. Um, well, see, the thing is, capitalist pigs lost AJ Green, which really hurt him. He still has a pretty solid lineup. I think he still has a pretty solid lineup. And Stay Thirsty won't have Corey Coleman. Big deal. He has Kirk Cousins or Derek Carr. You know what? Wow. I I have a feeling that Stay Thirsty might choke this week. That, I do. I don't like his lineup. Not a fan. Sorry, man. I think Capitalist Pigs might beat you, Mike. Mile High playing Hawkeyes. Obviously, I'm going to take Hawkeyes because this team is just so freaking sick. Uh, Cardiac Kids. Oh, and and uh, the other fact that Mile High won't have DeMarco Murray. So, boom. 
Yeah. Cardiac Kids versus Devils. That game doesn't matter. Pink Taco versus the Donkey. Yeah, that game doesn't matter. Biscuit Butt versus Big Red. That game doesn't matter. Minivan versus me. Jeez. Oh, you know, that sucks. I'm projected to get my butt slaughtered. And I probably would have to agree. Yeah, I have to agree. Man! So, Matt, I think you're going to beat me. Your team does look like the better team this week. So, yeah, I don't think I'm going to win. That's a bummer. Been in first place all year to finish in second. Bummer. All right. Well, that's it. I'm kind of leaving on a crappy note because that's a bummer. That's just a bummer. Man. All right. <clears throat> well, now I can still root for the Chiefs because... I mean, I really don't think the Chiefs are going to win this week. This is one of the weeks I projected them to lose. I, you know, I said 11-5. and five. And This is one of their losses I projected them to get. And this would give them four. And I said 12-4 and four would be... I said I could be 12-4, and four, but I think 11-5. and five. So, they're on track for still 12-4. and four. They could get 12-4. and Because if they lose this, they'll have four losses. And then I think they can beat the Raiders, the Chargers, the Titans, and the Broncos again. So they could finish 12-4, and four, but if they finish 11-5, boom. I'm Nostradamus. All right, guys. Have a good week. Good luck to everyone but Matt. But there's not much luck when, Matt, you should dominate me. Bye.